My name is Craig Bourdain and I'm an Associate Director with Fender Catsalides Architects based in Melbourne, Australia. We're a medium-sized practice of about 50 people. Uh, we have a fairly wide range of work from high-rise residential to commercial and institutional projects. Um, my role in the practice, apart from being Associate Director, is that of a project architect working on a number of different projects. In addition to this, I have an overview role in a sense of overviewing QA, office procedures and the office CAD system. This role is essentially focused on project delivery uh, from start to finish and ensuring that projects get delivered in the most efficient and time effective way possible. And it's been in this role that I've been working with Graphisoft on the trialling of the Teamwork 2 features of ARCHICAD 13. When we first heard about Teamwork 2, we were really excited about the prospects of what it meant for us as an organisation. Um, it's, it solves a problem that we've grappled with internally um, for many years. And, and it's a problem that almost all BIM, single BIM model um, approaches suffer from. And how, how to effectively divide a project between a large practice with multiple people. I think I have a personal view that real projects are the best way to, to trial software in this way. It's a very human problem, the problem that Teamwork 2 is trying to solve. It's, it's all about people working under project deadlines and real, you know, under pressure and how they interact with each other. As I mentioned before, we started in pre-alpha and subsequently alpha versions of the software with larger sketch design projects. Um, some, of, some of them were quite large, one of them was 50 stories, other ones were quite small. But it was all about testing the workflow in the beginning and ensuring that there was maximum flexibility, that people could get access to the parts of the model that they needed and that the work could go out in the most efficient way possible. Um, we've always been a firm of teamwork sceptics. Um, we haven't particularly... We have used Teamworks in the past, Teamwork 1, um, and we've used it on some quite large projects, but the experience has never been one that we've ever been particularly happy with. I mean, I think the main reason why we've had bad experiences with Teamwork 1 has been pure, mostly to do with speed. Um, in these large projects that we've had, um, the centre receive times can easily be in the, in the region of 10 to 15 minutes. And what we find is that when we have a project of six or more people working on a project, they can't send and receive simultaneously. So ultimately, every time the project needs to be fully updated, it takes an hour out of the, the working day um, as an exercise. And, and that has just led to people not sending and receiving as frequently as they should, which leads to other problems as well, which I'll get to. So what's exciting for us about Teamwork 2 is the potential to completely change the way we work to deliver projects in a more productive and uh, effective way um, and to just bring a whole level of extra flexibility to our staffing arrangements. Um, we're a practice of 50 people as I said before and I think for a, a big practice to leverage the advantages of having um, a large staff you really need that flexibility of workflow. You need the ability to rapidly move people from one project to another. We're used to working, having a file to themselves and managing that file and, and working within their own way within various hotlink projects, um, but ultimately being responsible for that one file. So there wasn't that, there was a, a cultural shift that really needed to happen in terms of getting used, people used to the idea of collaborating on a, an entire model um, with other people. Um, and, and I think that's been a really positive thing for the practice. The largest documentation project and the largest project full stop that we've had using Teamwork 2 has been a, uh, an apartment building, quite a, a large project um, in inner Melbourne and that had a team of about six people in it. Um, and the experience with this project has been really good. Um, we met all of our deadlines, we recently issued a, a full set of tender documentation for the project and what's been really good as an experience for us is that people have enjoyed working in this new collaborative way. What we really liked about what the new teamwork workflow brought for us was that it allowed people to feel like they are truly collaborating on a single model. And because of the speed at which send and receives can be made using Teamwork 2, people just send and receive every couple of minutes. And that means that everyone has a really good situational awareness of what everyone else is doing. And for the CAD leaders and the team leaders working on those projects, they feel far more in tune with 
where the model is going, where the model is progressing, and you can quite quickly tell if things are going off the rails or if they aren't.